Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Yun Fu. And today we are in a little village called ba, ba Teng Village. Uh, we're about 30 kilometers from where we're staying. And uh, if we turn the camera around here, we can sort of see up the street here. It looks like quite an old, old village. Um, I'm not sure how many people would live here, but uh, we're about, yeah, like I say, we're about 30 kilometers from where we're staying. And down here is where Jimmy works as a doctor. So he's in the medical center for this little village. <laughs> These cars trying to squeeze through this narrow gap here. There's plenty of side, plenty of room on the other side, lady, get through there. So uh, we're going to go down, there's a town square somewhere here. We're going to go and have a look. Uh, there's basketball games going on today. Uh, basketball, as I've mentioned before, being very, very popular here in, in China. And this on our right here is the medical center. So we see the uh, little white cross here signifies medical stuff. Um, we're not going to go and have a look inside because there are patients in there. But just in the uh, front here is the sort of dispensary area, which is all, uh, well, not, not all necessarily, but a lot of TCM or traditional Chinese medicine stuff in there. So we may be able to get in and have a look at that part later on. While we're waiting, we've got Joanna's just having something to eat. We'll duck down here and have a little look. Another little town square area sort of thing here. Got a few seats to sit on. Wow, look at this table tennis table. Made out of stone. This is... Uh, And then a steel net. We have a little uh, worship area here for people to put their uh, offerings to ancestors or gods or whoever they're, whoever they're praying for. We see all the uh, remains of all the incense sticks here. And then there's more down, uh, more down in here as well. So yeah, there's a lot of this stuff happening. And looking down the street here. So yeah, quite old, I would imagine. Uh, it's a different sort of place. I look at this up behind the table tennis table here. We have this, some sort of scroll. Again, I can't really tell you what anything here is saying. But uh, this looks, yeah, okay, it's all, it's all concrete. So yeah, we're going to uh, just wait for Joanna to finish eating. We're going to go and have a look at this basketball competition that's happening up the way. So stick around, there's plenty more to come. Okay, so they're driving down to this basketball game. We're going to take a stroll, hope we can find the place. <laughs> and... Uh, just have a little walk through and see what's happening in the place. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about this place. Uh, I don't have much to tell you. We'll just see what we can see on our way around. So we have a little kids play area here. Oh, Kung Fu. This looks like a Kung Fu school. So, uh, So yeah, Kung Fu School for the Kitties. Okay, little narrow roads all the way through here. And then we see as always, alleyways down between all the houses. We have, so you see the, uh, all the red on the floor here. This is all the remains of, uh, firecrackers that will be let off during spring festival. Uh, yeah, just see that 
Everywhere you go, people letting off. Just strings of firecrackers. Day and night, you are. Uh, you just hear them all the time, random times, over and over. And here's the family, and we're going to try and follow the car around and hopefully catch up to this. Uh, we can find this square without getting too lost. <laughs> We would have, uh, we would have all walked, but Angela's got her parents with her, and they're rather elderly and struggle to walk the distance. Her mum might be okay, but her dad doesn't look like he moves terribly well anymore. So, yeah, they've got to drive down there. So it looks like down this street, just houses left and right mostly, and we do have a little shop here. Just a little convenience store, selling bits and pieces. It's an old, old looking truck here. Oh, look at this thing. Wow, very old. Looks absolutely ancient. The, uh, yeah, you do see a lot of these really old looking vehicles around the place from time to time. They, uh, they, are, they are around, they keep them going. And I guess uh, old stuff like that, all mechanical, no electronics in it. <laughs> I guess they keep them going because they can work on them and fix them themselves. Uh, whereas a modern car, goodness me, need, a, need to be a computer engineer to be able to do any sort of work on a, uh, any of these new things. So, the old stuff probably saves them a bit of money on, on maintenance costs. Although I can't imagine they're terribly efficient to run. So it looks like we're up on the top of a hill. I'm hoping we can get sort of a, sort of down some of these alleyways. I can see a view over the top of some of the buildings down the way. But uh, I'm hoping there's somewhere we can get a bit better view on our way through. Yeah, it's cool. I love getting out into these little places. Well, we say little. It's uh, you know, a small town in Australia. You know, you're looking at something like, I don't know, Cogen up in Western Australia. And uh, this would probably be very equivalent to the size of somewhere like Cogen up, uh, sort of geographically. But the population, there's uh, probably, I don't know, I'd be guessing at least 50,000 people living here. Maybe more. Bananas on our right here. Sort of still a bit green, not quite ready to eat yet. Have another, another little worship area here. Then down, oh, it looks like we have a uh, school down here on our left. Oh, and here's, here's our people. We've managed to find them. We've got some chickens wandering around on the street. And then we've got another chicken here. <laughs> Go. Where are we going? That way. I think. You think, but you're not sure. Go. Oh, look at this mural on the on the front of the house here. Uh, middle school. That's gorgeous. Oh, now we have more.
and then middle school over this side. So we must have the uh, basketball competition and whatever else is happening just around the corner up here somewhere. Hey, under the trees and far away. So we can see playground, running track, soccer field. There's some play equipment over the far end there. Basketball courts out the front. And then classrooms, and I would imagine they also have some uh, bedrooms somewhere as well. So we're talking to Emily the other day about her school. Actually, we went past her school, and she was pointing out different things. And one of the things they have is a uh, little dormitories to sleep in in the afternoon. All right, where are we going? Straight or right? Right. So, oh, what's this school? It's another school. Primary school. Here is Mia's Mia hometown. Oh, this is where Mia comes from. Yeah. Okay. Crazy, crazy Mia. <laughs> Here we have the entrance to the primary school. And then on the left, these old, oh, look at the artwork up in here. Looks fantastic. Yeah. Don't know how well we can see this in this camera. There we go, that's a little bit better. Look at these pictures up here. Stunningly beautiful. And then we have another building. Gorgeous. If we back up a little bit, try and get a uh, bit of a look at the whole thing here to back up a little bit further than that. They do look gorgeous. Oh, Emily's in there bowing away. So we just sneak in the door here. We won't go right the way in because again, it's a temple. So we can see worship area back there, but we won't go any further than that. And right, back to your mother. Have a quick look in this door. So, Again, it is gorgeous. But we won't go exploring right the way in there, just out of respect. So, there should be a basketball game happening around here somewhere. I could throw you in if you like. <laughs> no? I'm sad. You're sad? No being sad is allowed. Okay, we're going to have a look at these old buildings in here. So, very old buildings. Wow. And then down. 
There's more of these all the way through the back here. So this is obviously a very old part of the village. Oh, you can see, it looks like we do have people living in some of these still. Okay, let's head back down to the road so we don't lose your mother. Should we keep some, going? Some. Somebody once told me the world was... No. <laughs> oh. I can hear music. Yeah. That must be where we're happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's excited. She's off and running. <clears throat> so we've got these old buildings all the way around here and then brand new place being constructed. Oh, I even look at these uh, carvings in the rock on the... Uh, on the entrance here, on the other side of the doorway. Gorgeous. It's going to be a nice building. Okay, we're just going to follow the music and see if we can, there she is. So, this must be where it's all happening today. I don't know what else is happening other than basketball games, but oh, it looks like there's quite a bit going on here. I wonder, just looking at people looking at me very strangely, I'm wondering how many foreigners they've actually seen in this little village before. Which way are we going? This way? I will try and follow Emily here, make sure we don't get lost. So a few stalls set up here, different people selling different things, mostly food here by the look of it. It's all looking very good. Okay, and here's the basketball courts up here. So it looks like quite a big event here. The basketball. Oh, so this must be uh, maybe all the teams and stuff. Maybe I'm not sure. What is it? Mia's father. Ah, okay. So what is this? Is this people who come from here? Something to do with the basketball game? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, what's this building up the back? Take a photo for her. And she's got this little watch so that she can uh, stay in contact with her parents and stuff. Okay. I'm going to go and see this building up here. What's this building? What's this building up here? You don't know. What about up the top there? What's up the top there? You don't know. She knows nothing. Yeah. <laughs> right, well we might, while we're waiting, we might just take a little stroll up the hill here. Lots of people parked down there. All right. Go and have a look up the hill and see what we can see up the top here. I hope you can hear me over that music. 
Oh, look at this uh, piece of artwork up the back of the performance area here. We're going to see what's up here. Steps up to looks like another old part of the village. Then up the hill. It's all very loud down there. Oh, more banana trees. Bananas still looking very green. Okay, so we're just up into another village area, okay. Maybe not so much to see. Ah, we'll go and have a look anyway. Hey, kick. Okay, it's just a village up here. Nothing exciting to see. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll go back. Find your mother. Yeah. Find your mother before she finds you. <laughs> Plenty of guys playing basketball here in between games. I don't know when we're going to uh, when we're going to start our competition again. We've got the young ones having a blast, throwing a ball around. Some younger guys here giving it a bash up the back. See if they can get it in. A little bit of one on one. Oh, he's missed. You'll see lots of seating spread around here. And obviously, the officials' desk. And then we might actually go and we'll take a little stroll around uh, while we wait for the games to start again and see what else we can see around the place. Okay, so we're back up now at the main street of this village. This is sort of the end of the village here. We're gonna just take a little stroll down here. Apparently the next basketball game is not till seven o'clock. So they must be having, I don't know, maybe quarterfinals, semifinals, and a final all starting at seven. Uh, so I don't know if we're gonna hang around here until then or if we're just staying here until Jimmy finishes work, whenever that may be. Uh, yeah, like I was saying yesterday, he was uh, still at work at 11 o'clock last night. So yeah, they basically take care of this whole little village area and uh, it's sort of deceptive how, well, they say village here, but it's not what I'd call a village. You know, a village for me would be somewhere with, you know, a couple of hundred people. So as we look down, we see it goes quite a ways, quite a ways back there. And then the basketball stuff and everything is happening all over this side of the, uh, of the village. We're just going to uh, yeah, take a little stroll down the main street here, have a look at what we can see. Nice BYD, look at this car. It's beautiful. Hello. And then, so bus stop up here, so you can catch a bus from Sing Sing proper down into here. So, you can see green number plate again tells us an electric bus. Just about all the buses here now are electric, other than the ones going you know, on the main highways to uh, from city to city or town to town. Just about all sort of air city buses now are, are electric everywhere you go. I don't know that there's any diesel powered buses left anywhere. It's uh, and it's happened so quickly. I, uh, I'm impressed that they can even build enough buses to be able to pro provide for every town and city around the place because they're big fleets. I, uh, I don't know how many buses we have in Jiaqing. There must be, there must be, well, 
minimum several hundred, maybe getting up towards a thousand buses running around the streets in Jiaqing. And uh, you know, Jiaqing is not a big place, so the number of the buses that must have been built, the electric buses, to uh, service all of the cities in China. It's just mind blowing. Actually, the electric cars, the whole electric stuff here, not just the buses, but the cars as well, uh, walking around Guan, uh, not Guangzhou, Shenzhen, while we're in Shenzhen. So many of the cars are electric now. There were times when you'd see five electric cars for one petrol powered car. It was mind boggling how many of I mean, there's a lot of electric cars in Jiaqing now, but not nearly the uh, numbers that we have we have in Shenzhen. They seem to be very, very popular there. And there are charging stations everywhere now. Um, I haven't seen one out in this little village yet, but I went for a walk this morning through Sing Sing and came across two new charging areas for electric cars that have been put up since I was here last. And I think they each had, they each had sort of getting up for around 20, 20 charging points. So 20 cars at once can be in there charging. So that SUV just going past, electric. It's not that many electric cars out here that I've seen, but, uh, there are still certainly quite a few around. So the yellow bus is here. We must have a kindergarten in here. So as I've mentioned before, the kindergartens uh, all have buses take their take their kids, their students off to uh, off to their homes after school. Uh, or grandparents generally will come and pick the kids up. A lot of the time it's grandparents because the parents are working, but yeah, we see the uh, stop sign on the side here will flick out when they're stopping to let kids off and stuff. And yeah, all of the, so yeah, this is a kindergarten in here. And uh, yeah, all of the kindergartens have at least one of them buses. What do we have down the back in here? Looks like some form of, ah, oh, that might be part of the kindergarten as well, playground area down in there. Um, yeah, I was mentioning earlier about uh, Emily's school when she was pointing out the uh, sort of different areas of the school as we were going past. One area that they have is the dormitories where because they have, you know, they start school at eight o'clock in the morning and don't finish till five. So, you know, in Australia, you're sort of 8.30, 8.45 start and you're sort of finished by 3.30. So much longer day at school here, but after lunch, they go off, have a kip in the dormitories and chill out. This looks like a new building here. That looks really nice. So it looks like an apartment on each floor. So we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors, and then a sort of half top floor up there with a big balcony out the front. It's one thing that I find really odd here. You have these places, you know, just about everywhere has got balconies, but nobody uses them. They are just, they are just there for, uh, hanging your washing out once you've washed your clothes. Although they look bigger. I imagine that table and chair out there of an evening, having a cold beer, especially during the summertime, would be absolutely gorgeous. So, <clears throat> looks like we're just about at the end of the village here. We're going to cross the road and head back up on the other side of the road and see what else we can find over here. Peter, we used to go pick up to his place. 
and we'd often sit out on the balcony having a smoke. And uh, you know, he lived in a, I don't even know how tall his apartment building was, but he was up on the, I think the 10th floor. And uh, over the road from his place, there were you know, lots of apartments, maybe 15 floors, 20 floors tall. And you, know, you could sort of see six or seven apartment buildings and they've all got verandas out the front. And Peter's is the only one with chairs out on the, uh, out on the balcony. Nobody else has seating outside. of a little village here now we've got a big garden area looks like a big communal area which would serve the whole village I would imagine just judging by the look of it <clears throat> so we're getting late evening now it's heading towards six o'clock you can see the sun just about to go down over the mountains there oh, look we've got a whole bunch of uh, windmills up on the top of the mountains up here I don't know if we're going to be able to see them very well in this camera, but uh, yeah, there are stacks of them up there. I didn't realize they had them. Then we have another road, so we've got some more waterway running down the side here. More gardens up this way. Look like they go back quite a way. We're going to go for a little walk down this side. Have a look what else we can see down here. See if we can figure out what some of these plants are. I don't know what these would be with these red flowers on them. Uh, can I see any sign of fruit or anything there? Not really. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good with uh, plants. I don't know what most of this stuff is. I'm guessing this down in here might be rice. And then down here we have sort of leafy stuff, uh, maybe Chinese cabbage or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to identify plants is not my forte. So up, just up here, these uh, darker colored houses up here, there's four houses in that complex. And apparently they, uh for the town leaders so the mayor i don't know who else they'd have or maybe some cheap administrator or something um i don't know if if the town leader i don't know if it's a sort of position that you are awarded or elected into or whether it's a uh, more of a this family runs the village because of historical things or something I don't know but uh, apparently yes yeah. so I don't know if that's just their house that they've built or whether whether that's the house that's provided to whoever is the town leader at the time but yeah apparently that's where the town leader lives <clears throat> So yeah, this is a huge big garden area. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if individual people own individual plots or if it's worked as more of a communal thing and everybody just mucks in. So there's lots of orange plants down there behind the bananas. I can see lots of oranges laying on the floor. It looks more of a communal thing. Uh, most of the patches are most of the patches are big areas of one crop whereas if it was more individual family thing I would imagine that they would have things mixed up a bit more in each each of the uh, plots and then we got looks like we got more gardens up on the hill behind us there 
and then more all the way down this way. So it's a big, big garden area. So yeah, we're very rural out here. As we were coming out here, uh, there was lots of sort of uh, bushland with farms dotted in between. Some of the bigger farms I've actually seen in China since I've been here too. Most of the places I've seen the farms are, well, by Australian standards, the farms are very, very small. But uh, they're certainly a bit more sizable here at the moment. Some other, I don't know what this building on our left here is, but it looks more of a communal area. We've got basketball court out the front. So this might be some sort of community hall or something along those lines. Another of these bigger buildings, probably several families living in there. So it's more apartments rather than like the one on the right here is a house. So it'd be one family living in there. Whereas this looks more like each floor is an apartment for a family. Okay, what we're gonna try and do, we're gonna try and find our way back to where the basketball courts are, which I think are down behind here somewhere. So we'll see how we go. It's always interesting just walking around random places and seeing if you can find your way somewhere. So if we turn left back up this road, this will take us back up to uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's uh, doctor's clinic. These old buildings here. <laughs> Plants growing out of the roof, goodness me. And then chickens down on the floor running around. Running around fairly loose. Okay, we're gonna head down this way and try and find ourselves a path. Okay, let's duck down through here. Try and find ourselves a path through the, through the buildings to the basketball court somewhere. So on our right, looks like a uh, pretty brand new house here. Looks, yeah, all very modern. So probably, probably very new. Oh, look down here. And then just tucked away behind that, this old place. Look at these, this old artwork up on the eaves. You can't really see it. I can't really get back far enough to get a good angle on the camera. But all this old artwork. What a, uh, okay, I am, I am getting myself a little bit lost here. Okay, we're going to head back through here and chuck a right again. It's sort of, it's old mud brick looking buildings here. This old wooden wooden door handle built into the door there. So these charts here are apparently all the families who live there, it's all their names. And this is signifying how much money they've donated. So this is Emily's friend Mia, it's her family. So it's Mia's dad, Mia's mum and Mia. They've donated 600 RMB, lots of 200s, 300s, 400s, 1,880. Fine, we've got 1,200. See what our biggest donations are. Oh, down this end, we've got some 10,000 RMB. 
So that's very good of them. So yeah, so yeah, uh, sort of a pride thing. Donate some money to the village for whatever they use it for. I don't know what they'd use the uh, the donations for, but yeah, no doubt different community events and things like that. So we've got the people here playing playing basketball still. It's uh, we're about a, an hour away from the next game, so I'm guessing we're going to hang around, listen to that, uh, watch that. I think the family are going to be off having some dinner now. Uh, so we're going to head back up, find our way back to, to Jimmy's clinic, go and see if we're going to have something to eat. I'm not terribly hungry yet, but we may be. Um, and then probably heading back here for 7 o'clock to catch a basketball. So stick around and we'll see what happens with a basketball competition here. Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back to Yun Fu again, and we're still in this little village, and uh, it's now just before seven o'clock, and we can see we got one of the teams out here warming up for the upcoming game. Uh, we're about four minutes from start time, I think. So, yeah, they're all getting warmed up. We can see we've got crowd here, so a lot of people from the village all the way, uh, old, young, everybody's here. Uh, it's a big event happening. Hello. Hi. Good. We can see, yeah, all sorts of ages, from little kids to the old folks. Everybody's here for the basketball competition. It's, uh, yeah, big event. And then we come down the other side, a lot more people over this side. Go and uh, have a little look past everybody. Happy New Year! You too! And here we see, yeah, lots of people. Good percentage of the village out here for the events here. Hello! These are the officials here. And yeah, lots of people. Everybody's here for the big event. It's uh, hello, hello, hello. Should be a good night. I don't know how many games we've got left to happen tonight. Uh, I can't see another team yet. So we've only got the one team here at this stage. But uh, I'm sure the other one's around somewhere. So yeah, I don't know if we've got quarterfinals or semifinals or, or if we are looking at uh, just a final. I've got no idea what the go is. Uh, waiting for the family to get back down here. They've been off having dinner, uh, so we can try and find out what's happening. Oh, nice shot from way back. Straight in, look at that, very good. Easy three-point shot. So, ah, he's just sinking them one after another. Unbelievable. And again, there he goes again. Wow. Here he goes again. Unbelievable. My goodness. Stepping back. So he's off to the, in the center circle, and he's dropped one. Unbelievable shooting. Very, very good. Okay, here comes the other team out here now. So, I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're all... I don't know if they're local teams or if they're from uh, other villages around the place. I will find out when... when we get people here that I can ask. But everybody's eagerly awaiting the start of the game. So we'll be back with you when we get things uh, when we get things teeing off. Okay, we're getting started now, and the blue team have the ball to start with. 
Guessing the blue team are going to our right then. Oh, they're pretty quick. Okay, let's get a little bit more central so we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. So we have a free throw. And first points of the game. And in again. Nicely done. So yes, basketball, very, very popular here in China. And uh, certainly one of the more popular sports in this part of the world. Okay, we're guessing then that the blue team may well be a local team because they seem to be getting most, most of the cheers are coming that way. Let's see what happens if the white team can score anything. Okay, so the white team get a fair cheer as well. So maybe they're both local. I don't know. Or maybe they just appreciate good play. Whichever way it goes. So let's duck around the corner here and see if we can see. See if we can see the scoreboard there. We can't see it from here. Okay, let's jump over here. See if we can get a. Uh, see if we can see a score over there. Okay. We can see the uh, blue team is at 19, the white team is at 8. I have no idea what any of that means. Referee doing all sorts of hand signals. Are you filming the ball yeah. match? Ah, oh, no, I just bits and pieces. Okay. Where, where are you from? Uh, Australia, but I live in Jiaoqing now. Oh. So, so do you have some friends here or families here? Yeah, friends. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, here I somewhere. See. I see, okay. Yes, yeah, so I come and visit here uh, regularly. Same here. Where yeah. do you my, live? My wife's here. I live in Shenzhen. Okay, we were just in Shenzhen two days ago. Really? Yeah, we went over there for a couple of days. I see. It's fun. I mean, well, they have such kind of match every year, but yeah, they... I've been suspended for four years. Yeah, with <laughs> COVID, COVID and everything. Yeah. Hello. 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 Good evening. <laughs> they zoned out. Okay. 
有朋友在这里。So what are you doing in Shenzhen? Um, I'm a biologist. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I have a startup company at Shenzhen. I just came back from England uh, to like one and a half years ago. Okay. Yeah. So I have a startup there at Shenzhen. Fair enough. Yeah, my wife is from this village. Right. Uh, that's why we're here. Now we got the family I'm staying with. They've got friends from this village. Ah. Uh, uh, Jimmy is the doctor here. Oh, a doctor? Yeah, in the, in, the in the clinic, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so your friend? Yeah. Oh, I should. I don't, I don't know what his Chinese name is. Jimmy. Jimmy is the thing, well. Okay. It's only been his English name for six months. <laughs> it's a new, he never had an English name until I met him. <laughs> yes, true. So we're into the second, well, second quarter, second half, second third. I don't know what they're playing, but uh, scores now. We got the blue team on 25, the white team on eight. <clears throat> and that'll be another two for, oh, hold on. Okay, they, I haven't swapped ends. I thought with a, uh, after having a break, maybe that was just a timeout. I don't know. But uh, they're still going in the same direction, which I would have thought they'd have swapped ends. But there you go. I know nothing about basketball, so. <laughs> So I don't know how much, oh, another, so the white team's catching up. We were at 25-8, I think, and they're now 25-15 over there. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how much of the microphone that picked up on that conversation I just had with that guy. Uh, been in England for a, for a while, he's a biologist, just started up a uh, company in Shenzhen. So, and speaks really good English. So, his wife comes from this village, apparently. So, yeah, he was a nice guy. Very pleasant chatting with him. More points. They are catching up. Catching up big time. Hey, beaten out of there. Look at that, three points. All right, let's scoot through here, get a look at the crowd as we go past. We're at half time now. So we've got a big crowd of people here. Hello, hello. So yes, heaps of people. So we see the score here, 41 to 24. And the place is absolutely jam-packed. Everybody having a great time. So we found out both teams are local here. They, uh, I thought we might have uh, people from surrounding villages, but no, they're both locals. So, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> That lost. <laughs> so I think. Nice to meet you. I think that is. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I think we're at half time. <laughs> Everybody here is trying to have a chat. Right, we're going to squeeze out backwards here. So yeah, we can see a uh, big crowd of people all the way around us. It's a. Uh, 
This is apparently an annual event happening here. And yeah, the whole village comes out, gets involved. It's a great atmosphere here. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's happy. Uh, yeah. I don't generally enjoy basketball, but I do enjoy the atmosphere. It's certainly not my game. I'm a, uh, I'm a football person, soccer person, cricket person, but not a basketball person. And then if we look over to our right here, we have different foods for sale, different little, uh, little stalls selling all sorts of stuff. We have an ice cream truck up the back. It's not very good ice cream, I'll give you the tip. Uh, various sort of meats on sticks down here. We won't go down there. It's a bit dark to see anything, but plenty happening. Oh, we've got a, what is it? Orange. Lemon tea. Ooh, yeah. Cold. Well, cold's always good. Oh, fairy floss. Oh, that is nice and cool. Oh, nice pass. That should be in. Oh, you may be dunk. <laughs> Too easy. Yeah. Oh, did it not count? Oh, no count. I don't know. I don't know what the signals mean. So, what's your favorite sport? Uh, to play soccer. Soccer. To watch cricket. Oh. Uh. But. <laughs> Uh, Nobody does cricket in China. Yeah. Although, I've just connected with some guys in Guangzhou uh, who play Australian football. Australian football? Yeah, so I'm going to go and meet them sometime. Lots of Australians there. Uh, and uh, have you seen Australian football? Australian football? Yeah. Uh, you want to look up Australian football online and have a look at that sport. Okay. That's really so good. So you come from Australia? Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen Australian football for seven yeah, years. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Guangzhou and watch uh, a game over there. They've got six teams play. Uh, so Guangzhou. it means Guangzhou is international city. Uh, yeah, well, they've got, a, they've got a league in Shanghai as well. Because yeah. they... The Australian Football League, uh, at the end of each season, uh, they take a couple of teams to different countries. So uh, they'll go to England, they'll go to America. Uh, and they started a few years ago, they came to China for the first time and put on a game in China. Uh, and so they've now, the AFL, like the, the league that runs the competition, they have now got a uh, development officer living in China. So they're trying to bring Australian football to yeah. China and get people playing. So they got, yeah, six teams in Guangzhou that I know of. Uh, probably the same in Shanghai, I imagine. And it, yeah, apparently people love it. Like yeah. Chinese so people, when I they mean, see it. Uh, I think, yeah, we love, uh, we love basketball. Because, yeah. because we got Yao Ming, right? So, uh, and Yao Ming in NBA. And made, yeah, yeah, made, yeah. made the basketball hot in yeah, so the Australia, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Australia did the same thing. We yeah. had uh, Luke Longley. He played. Luke Longley played for the Chicago Bulls when Michael Jordan was playing. He was in the same team. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, back in the 90s. And when he was playing, basketball was huge in Australia. But it's not so big now, I don't think, because... I think we've still got Australian, a couple yeah. of Australians playing in America, but they're not as good as Luke Longley. Luke Longley was a really good player. They, um, yeah. But the other thing with this, I mean, it doesn't take up too much room, so you can fit a basketball court here. Trying to find somewhere to play Australian football in China would be impossible. Yeah, that's what, that's what so, I mean. An Australian football field yeah. would be a, as big as about five or six oh. soccer fields. Mm. Mm. It's yeah. huge. And uh, you have 18 players mm. on the field from each team. Mm. So, yeah, you need a lot more space. And 
It's very hard to find space in China. It's everything so crowded. Yeah. So I, I think Australian football should make the China star. Right? Well, they're, they're, make, make the superstar. They're starting. <laughs> they um, yeah. These guys in Guangzhou. I've yeah. actually uh, I've been chatting to them. We're hoping to get them to come to Jiaoqing <laughs> and do some workshops with my school. Uh, so we'll get my students to learn a bit of Australian football. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Yeah, I teach in a uh, in the Jiaqing Medical College. Oh. Teach English. Oh, teach Don't English. teach medical. <laughs> Just teach English. But uh, no, it's good. Been here seven years now. Oh. Hey, here we go. Nope. Missed. Okay. Okay, so just chatting to that last guy we were talking to, he was telling us that uh, this game is actually for third and fourth, and there's another game after this one which is going to be for the championship. Uh, we're just going to try and get around this side here and see if we can uh, zero in on this scoreboard. See if we can find some sort of an idea of what the score is now. I don't know what we're up to in the game, whether it's uh, whether we're past the first half or. Okay, so the score is. What have we got? 57 to the blue team, 35 to the white team. Hello. Oh. So yeah, there's our, there's our scoreboard, and we've got the blue team on the left, white team on the right, and here we go again. Hey, miss. So off the uh, just out the back of the basketball, we have fireworks letting off up into the sky. And then I think we're I don't know maybe three quarter time here in the basketball. I'm not entirely sure, but. Uh, we're on the way again, we're playing again, so it's all go. There's such an impressive crowd of people here. It's getting harder and harder to move around. So I imagine we'll have even more people show up for the, uh, for the final game. So we see the score now, 76 to blue, 48, oh, 78 to blue, 48 to the white team. We must be getting close to time now for them to be taking Hail Mary passes like that. I think that is full time here, and our final score is, I can't see there, resetting the boards back to zero, so that must be full time. Blue team won quite convincingly, it was around 82 to 52-ish. So we now have a... Uh, Short break, I imagine, before before the uh, the final. So yeah, this was, uh, as I say, for third and fourth. So the blue team come in third place in the competition, and I have no doubt we have two more teams on the way somewhere soon.
Okay, it looks like we might have a tug of war or something happening uh, between games here. So I'm not entirely sure. We're going to see what's going on here. So let's uh, take a little stroll around, have a look at the crowd here as we go as we go by. So, nice big crowd of people. Lots of people up on the top. All the way through. And here's our trophies that we're playing for here. They do look good. So yes, we have the uh, red in the centre. We must be trying to get the red over either end of the lines here. So let's uh, wander around behind here. Have a look a bit more of the crowd here. Here they all are. And then... We'll have a look at what's going on down here. So here's the rope that we're pulling on. I have no idea. So, let's carry on our way around here. Check out a bit more of this crowd on our way through. Oh. Yeah, good sized crowd. And then here we have. Hello. So it looks like we have guys being picked out of the crowd to take part in the tug of war. You see the guys with the uh, orange lanyards, there's a few of these guys around. Looks like they're picking guys out to come and, uh, come and have a tug of war. And we are off. And there's a win straight up. Easy, too easy. Well, that was over very, very quickly. Okay, what's going on now? They've all come up to one end. Okay, so they're having a go the other way. Okay. Okay, we're up again. Getting the rope centered. And we're off. These guys just can't hold them. Uh, and we've got another win. Okay, so now we have a women's event. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like six on each team. One, two, three, four, five. And see five over there. One, two, three, four. Okay, five aside. Okay, and we're here in the center. And we're on our way. Oh, this looks like a tighter match. No, we're getting taken away to the right again. Oh, they've done that easily again.
Okay, and here we go. Okay, the last looking much more level this time, although they're still they're still struggling over here. And there we go, we have another win. Okay, so we had our final about to start, but we're not going to stay here and watch this. We're heading back home now because uh, it's getting late. So that's a bit of a look at what's going on here today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, we've lost Joanna. Are we? Are we going? Uh, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed that look at today's activity out here in the little village. What? I don't know. So uh, yes, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to see more, share with friends. If you have any questions, comments? Hit us up in the comment section. If you have any. Uh, see in the future let us know and we'll endeavor to bring that to you we've just had the national anthem before the final of this uh, competition so yeah thanks for watching everybody stay safe and we will see you very soon in the next one cheers